Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where uh, today I've got a couple of things that I need to do. Heavy snowfall is predicted to slam Coral Island tomorrow. Expect a steep temperature drop. Oh, okay. So anything that I can catch in winter with... Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. Anything that I can catch in winter in the rain will basically probably be able to be caught in the snow as well. I'm pretty sure blizzardy, snowy conditions are good for that. So we've got snow everywhere. Crops are all dead now. So we can do a bit of rearranging of all the farms, which is quite nice. Doesn't look like the sprinklers have gone off though. I don't think anyway. Let's see. Oh no, they have. Okay, cool. Um, so, I'm going to get rid of these ones because I wanted to kind of more like plant trees and things around here. So these ones are gone. Let's just get rid of those. Then it's time to use all of my fertilizer and my uh, wild crop seeds and get them into the remaining. And obviously, um, with tr with the trees, they're all they're all gone now for now. So I'm gonna pick these ones up as well, and then we're gonna probably try and make an area for trees with like sprinkler twos or something. And if I decide to do that, I might give them their own tree area, and I may actually then put back ones along these sides. But for now, I'm thinking we'll just uh, where are they? Where did they go? Where did they go? Where did they go? But now we'll just place them down in a sort of semi-regular pattern there. I think I might need to side that away before I can... The grass is going to start to die out as well a little bit over the winter. But I've got lots and lots and lots. I've got enough to easily feed my animals. So my animals will need... I think that's what I'm going to go for right now. Um, I'll need to make one more scarecrow for that as well, but I'll just see whether I might not even need that particularly. I'm going to move this guy. So if I do decide I want one on that side and one on that side, then I'll have one like here and then here, uh, no, there and there and maybe one in the middle or something. I'm not sure, but anyway, for now... I'm going to move this guy because uh, he doesn't need to be there. He can be over here. For now, we can move him about if we need to, though. So I want to put one... Um, so looking at the, where they are. It's absolutely fine to have one there as well and then have one there. And then we've actually got coverage for all of the sprinklers and yeah okay so I won't I'll try not to use these ones unless I have room for them honestly I'm not worried I'm not wanting to do the fertilizer thing right now I'm just gonna put it over there to keep it out of the way can't be bothered with it so one thing I need to do today uh, I think my little chickadees apparently and my little um and that might have been why cloud was so grumpy in the summer as well they apparently need the temperature regulators. So I've got enough money for them. So let's go up and just sort that. I don't know whether they're supposed to be let out in the snow as long as it's sunny. I don't know if that makes them happy or not. Maybe I can just try and work it out. If they get grumpy when I let them out in the snow, then that's not a thing to do, I guess. I love food. <laughs> that's so cute. It's a little pig. So, I apparently need two of these. That's what I've been told in the comments. I hope that is correct. Why have I got a feeling that I one time accident? No, I didn't. I didn't. I reloaded. <laughs> one time I accidentally bought one of those when I didn't need it and I had no money and it used all of my money for the day. So, I think I reloaded the save at that point. I was not impressed with myself. I was like, no. I can't afford this. 600. I can afford it now though, so it's good to keep them toasty while they're in there, especially on those snowy, snowy days. So uh, apparently I can put this in here somewhere. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. So let's just pop that like down there or something and then they can stay toasty. 
I need to grab the eggs as well because I haven't been in here in a couple of days. And I think I'm going to also upgrade their... Uh, no, I'm not going to upgrade, but I'm going to place them down some hay. Eventually I'll get this all automated, but it's just going to take time. Everything about this is going to take a bit of time. So let's get in here and do the same for the goat and the cow. So they're going to need proper feeding now. Um, going to need their temperature regulator, which I'll pop over here. So it's not too in the way. And then I'm going to try and let them outside today. We'll just see how it goes. I'm assuming that sunny days in winter are okay. I would love to make them as well. I know this is a bit of a, it's a bit of a, for me at the moment, a bit of an indulgence. But I'm wondering like hay floor, what's that gonna look like? Could I put a little bit around the the barn or inside the barn even? Like, cause I've got this, this ranching and I've got this hay floor I can make and I'm like, well, maybe that'd be nice. So I'm going to make one, because what if that it looks horrible, yeah? Make one, and I'll see where I can put it. So you can put it around the coop there. That's actually really nice. But I think it might look better inside. Let's see if I can put them inside before, again, before I make more of them. And I sort of, like... No, I can't. So they can only go outside. I might just put a little couple of patches of them down around the place. But at the moment, I think I'm just going to keep it as is. I don't really like the grass like right in front of their door. It's really kind of annoying me a bit. So I'm just going to get rid of that. We could maybe do a little bit of... Um, a little bit of some kind of landscaping around here. But I'm not sure what I want to do quite yet. So that's what we're going to do for now. I'm quite happy with the trees and things that are still in here. It all makes it look quite nice, I think. Going to get rid of this. So this is driving me mad for a while, actually. I kind of think it looks better without. Maybe I'll find some kind of flooring to put down there or something. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave it as mud for now. Don't have to decorate everything right away, Zooey. So one thing that I haven't done as well that I really did want to do, I don't know if there's things are still in my inventory, they're not, okay. Um, but the one thing that I really did want to do... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I knew I would. Forgot about my new animal products chest. So that's a scavenger ball, so that can go in there. Eventually scavenger balls will have their own thing. Ground beetle, soldier beetle, and uh, those moths that I was catching last time. They can all go away. I was trying to kind of find the... Oh, and what about the... Oh, my goodness. Could I have done that any worse? Uh, what about these uh, pipe vine swallowtails? Uh, those... Yeah, they've all been donated. All of them. So we can get rid of you, 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 and you. I'm kind of going to maybe keep the salary... I think I've not had anyone ask me for a particular bug. I've had people ask me for a particular fish. There is a chance, I guess, but I don't think I could realistically keep every bug. I think that would be a bit of a nightmare, wouldn't it? Have I still got a sprinkler here? Oh, yeah, I've got one last one, haven't I? Um, I'll just go there for now. So we're going to have quite a large amount of space in the uh, winter. I did pick up sprinkler twos, didn't I? But I don't know how... Uh, I think I did anyway. Sprinkler one. Or, or was it was a sprinkler two like a... Oh yeah, I do, I do, I do. I can make them actually. Gold and silver kelp and scrap. So I'm going to make one. And I'm just going to see like what kind of area it covers comparatively yeah so it covers this massive area here and i could probably get like four trees around that 
So what I'm actually thinking is to change what I was going to do and I'll just have normal crops on the sprinkler ones and then I'm going to have an area maybe back here where I'll put all the trees and everything and I'll have them on a sprinkler system as well. So just to remind me that that's what I'm going to do. Pop that down as well. I'm not going to bother hoeing out the land because it's a waste of stamina. Total waste of stamina because it's just going to grow back. So maybe something like this. And that will make sense, obviously, then when I interact with it compared to these. And then I might be able to get another one. So one, two, three, four, five. So maybe another one and maybe another two. Or maybe I'll need to put a big space in between them. I'm not sure. But that's where I'm going to put my trees anyway. I mean, like fruit trees and saplings and everything like that. Right. So now what I want to do is get my fertilizer. Set five o'clock already. How did that happen? Um, right. I want to get my fertilizer that I've been saving up. I think I need to make one more as well. And also my winter seeds that I've been saving up. For which I have 36 apparently. So let me see if I can make more fertilizer too. I can. Only one, though. I've got enough to do 32 of them with fertilizer, which is quite nice. So let's go. So they're protected from crows. They're getting automatically watered. So as much as I'm like, oh, I wish I could have more automation going on. I do have a lot already. I'm just being a bit greedy, I think. Okay, so those four there won't get uh, fertilizer, but the rest of it all will. And it's nice fertilizer too. And I do already have the thing for bronze seeds, although I don't know whether that's just the seeds that get sold to me or whether wild seeds count as well. But there we are, all fertilized, all happy, all good. Wonderful. Uh, no time to make it to Sam's today, sadly, um, but he is open on a Tuesday, so he'll be open tomorrow for me to go and see what else he's got. Obviously, that's maybe what I should have done, but uh, never mind. Did I even let the animals out? I can't remember. Oh, well, we'll work it out. We're not letting them out tomorrow, though, I'll tell you that right now. Um, I think the chick the sorry the cow and the goat needed a bit more help so we need to upgrade these barns so that we can get the new animals so we need to get uh, the quail and the goats but we can't get those quite yet oh look at that little heater on that's so cute are you guys happy with your heater do you like it are you happy Feel bad taking your coat off you. I'm glad I bought you a heater. Feel bad taking your coat off you in the middle of winter. I don't know why the shears are on the wrong thing. So I need a silver large milk off you eventually. For the goddess's altar. But uh, I'm guessing that will come with time. And also with upgrading the hay. Better hay will mean better products. Um, and I'll need to get that from the from the lab. So that's another thing I could work on. I could also work on getting a better fishing rod because we're going to do a lot of fishing this winter as well. So I've got a lot of plans for my money. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Put that straight in to make butter. And I'll find some other things left over from the autumn season that I could maybe use to make some artisan goods. Let's see. Uh, we've got quite a lot of peppers still left. We've got quite a lot of cranberries still left. I'll have a cranberry day today, I think. Silver cranberry day. So we're always getting like 12 over there. Um, I do need to clear that area out a little bit more as well. Okay, so apparently... Um, over by, there's apparently a woodland, which is to the north of... Oh, that's still... That's still shut off to me. They were saying like, oh yeah, there's like two two hardwood logs just to the north, the woodlands to the north of the, the giants. Well, I'll go over there and have a look around, but 
It seems to me like a lot of the places that I need to be going to get hardwood and to be upgrading my tools are blocked off to me. So I don't really know. Let me just look around though and see what people were saying. Hmm. Well, that's just an olive wing. Sell it though. Yeah, so this is all blocked off to me. A tea berry, that's interesting. But I don't think I can just hack my way through or anything. So yeah, that's no good for me. I think maybe I need to just play more game in general to be getting hardwood. Um, so my other choice that I have when it comes to getting hardwood I say somehow mean up here or something, but I think this is going back towards my farm, isn't it? I've not seen any logs around there. So I think my best chance of like upgrading, because I am getting towards the point where the money is coming together for it. Right, so I think my best chance may well be to take my explosives and blow a log up. So let's go. <laughs> let's take... I think explosive one is enough, apparently. I'm gonna sell a tea berry as well. And my scavengeables and my large mayonnaise. 170 for a bronze large mayonnaise. And 70 each for those 15... Uh, Karacha sauces as well, so that's wonderful. Very good. I don't know how much wool goes for still though, because like, we haven't sold enough of it, so I'll, I'll sell it and if we need it, we've got a sheep at the end of the day. Alright, let's, let's go and blow things up. Apparently I can put explosives down next to this log. And then I will get hardwood. And I got 10 hardwood. I think I only need something like five. So that is okay. And it's a very good way to actually clear the farm as well. I think I can make explosives now too. Apparently it's a brilliant way to clear the mines out. So I'm going to maybe take some down with me um, to do the last 10 levels of the gold mine. Save myself a bit of stamina. I'm not really a lover of using explosives and things, but uh, I'm guessing, I mean, useful for combat. No, I'm not going to use that for combat. I'm going to use that to clear everything out, aren't I? Clearly. So building mats, hardwood, wood. I've got two of those logs as well. So if I do need like 20, I don't think I need 20. I think I only need something like 10, but I'll go and have a look. Um, and I'm going to make some more gold bars as well. I do also need more bronze bars for something. Oh yeah, for the keg. Oh, I think we need to go to bed now. I've got so much, like so many plans, so many things I need to do. It's like rushing around in my head right now. Right then, so we are on <laughs> the beginning of... Uh, Winter 2, we had a bit of a crash, so apologies if I don't remember what on earth I was doing. Uh, but what I was trying to do was a bit of decoration, but I'm not going to move the wardrobe. That's what crashed the game. So uh, we're going to do this first thing just in case it does crash again. So what I did was I moved the chimney and the t TV over here, and we'll maybe get like a nice sofa or something and a table. I put the bed away and then I've got these new beds and things don't I where are they are they they're in my house storage or something let's see hmm Did I put them in a chest or something I believe I need a bed before I uh, do anything else, so let me 
pull that out of house. I, I haven't played with this a lot yet, so forgive me that I'm not quite so au fait with it yet. Okay, I'm going to go find it. I've got this lovely Japanese bed set. and Or Javanese, sorry. Which is very nice. So... Connor has lost a hat. I lost one of my hats the other day. A powerful gust of wind blew it away. If you find my hat, kindly return it to me. I will, indeed. So, hopefully I'll remember to <laughs> cut everything out that I needed to cut out there because, yeah, it did crash. Right, so I was sort of like sorting my inventory a little bit. Offers need to go in there. I've got building materials to go in there. Farming. Where? So where's my nice... Did I put them in my donations? Yes, I did. So in my donations, I've got a nice chair, a nice coffee table, and a, and a bed. So that's going to really help make everything look a little bit nicer. My shears need to go down there because they're annoying me not being there. And then the animal stuff... I'm basically saving up until I've got three of everything and then I'll start to process them. Um, oh, I didn't put my duck, duck egg away. That's annoying. Coal needs to go back into building materials. My seeds need to go into farming. That needs to go in there as well. My gold needs to go into building materials. I don't know why I have gold kelp in there either. Why is there gold kelp in there? I should be in sea loot. Okay. Right, back in we go. And I'm just going to quickly mess around with furniture again. So it doesn't look like I can, uh... do much in the way of decorating, so I can't really sort of, um, turn things at an angle very much. But I need my storage. Oh, I had two chairs, did I? Nice. I'm going to put them kind of like that. That's very cute, actually. And then I can put the bed. Oh, I think I need to be in decorate mode, don't I? So that I can actually put the bed down at the angle I want. Put that there. Now, what crashed the game was me trying to turn, move and turn the wardrobe. I wanted it on the other side. It's okay this time. I tried to put it up here, but uh, maybe over there will be all right just for now. So that's looking a little bit less um, sparse, isn't it? Maybe I could put the coffee table there. I would like a bigger table. That's more like a side table, but that works and it's nicer than it was. Uh, eventually I'll have money and I'll actually be able to, but once I have money I'll be going to socket and pan. I'm not going to be going anywhere else. Okay, so the other thing I could do is go to Sam's place and just see if I can pick up any like, especially kale and Brussels sprouts, I think. Oh wow, look how this is decorated. Sam must be going mad, like after the scarecrow thing. He got told off. That's him for putting a scarecrow down and then like... A woolly bear! That's so cute! It's a fluffy caterpillar. I love it. Someone has an errand for me. Connor is looking for one wool and he needs that in two days. Accept errand. It's an urgent request. Um, oh, it'll be open in ten minutes. That's fine. Everyone's going to have their winter clothes now. I love that they change their clothes for the season. There's not many games that do that. A lot of games have them in the same clothes all year round. So that is a really nice thing. 
So let's have a look. Shop. What? There's no seeds at all? Wow, we best take good care of the seeds we've got then. I'm glad you guys told me to do that then. <laughs> uh, bear with me, I've got an, oh, something open that I shouldn't do from the little crash bug we had earlier. Right. Shop. I need to go fishing in the river and see if I can get these arapaimas and that needs to be the forest river. Forest river, I believe, counts as this one up here. So, can I... Yeah, I could go to the fast travel up at the museum and then go from there up to the cavern entrance and... We can do a bit of fishing and see if I can get the thing I need. It's going to be difficult. What I should be doing as well is uh, trying to get my fishing rod upgraded, but I'll just see what I can get without. There are some fish that, are, that, that just won't do anything. They're just a struggle no matter what. I don't think this is the one. It's not wiggly enough. Angelfish. Nice. But not the right one. I'll try a few different... Um, I don't know what size it is. It's an arapaima I'm looking for. So fall or winter in the rain in the river or forest. I would say I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's the one that, that we need for the altar and also for Jim. But Jim will not be getting until I have one for the altar. Chub? Well, I guess we'll be getting things for the museum. That looks like it'll be a coffer or a pamphlet or trash. That's not even moving. Okay, this this needs upgrading. Let me head over to the, the Sunny and Eleanor shack and see what needs to happen for that because I need this done. Um, if I'm going to have the catch altar done by the autumn of year two, which is what I'm trying to aim for, then I need this done before the end of winter. Let's head over to the beach shack and see if they're open. They weren't open the last time I wanted to go down there. Uh, the problem is I then forget because I've got a thousand million other things I want to do. But let's have a look. Beach shack. Uh, it says it's closed. Why is it closed every day I want to go? <sighs> let's see. Let's see what the opening hours are on it. So it's open Monday to Sunday. Nine till five, but it's closed on a Tuesday. Uh, was it a Tuesday the last time I tried to come up here? Probably. I don't... I've got a feeling that I caught it. But my fishing rod isn't able to handle it. I have a very, very strong suspicion that that is the case. Ooh, who are you? All sorts of new, wonderful insects and... Things to catch. Oh, yes! <laughs> you can get scrubbed off my list. You are the monarch. It's uh, an offering.
I'm just gonna give that straight into the goddess before I accidentally like eat it or sell it or give it to someone. <laughs> Cause you know what I'm like. Yes. So that's at least one thing for the catch altar today. Woohoo. But yeah, I need to probably focus on the easier fish at the moment until I can get this thing upgraded. So I now need the yucca moth and the tiger beetle. Tiger beetle is a spring thing. Yucca moth is a spring summer thing, which is why I haven't got them. I couldn't read. Really, I was rubbish at catching this time last year, so that, I'm a lot better now. So I might actually get them. Um, then at night, I could maybe try and find a centipede somewhere, but I don't know. They're all over the place. And I've not really written very good instructions for the rove beetle, so I need to rewrite that. We're starting to get there with it. Like, we've got four out of five of those guys. We've got one of the night insects. We need another four of them. We need two more saltwater fish, uh, which are the Asian sheep head. Can I get those now? Can I get an, H an Asian sheep head now? I can. I can get that in the forest ocean. And then I can also get the yellow fish, the yellow fin tuna in the evening at the. Let's go down the docks. Yeah. Let's go down the docks because it's a it's a rain it's a snowy day and that might count as a rainy day kind of and just see what we can catch down here. It's afternoon. It's uh, yeah afternoon evening, so this is the perfect time to do that. Let's see if we can at least get the things for the salt water. Part of the altar, maybe? But yeah, when it goes quiet and the, the line, the thing doesn't even move, that is probably telling me that it's a, a, too difficult of a catch for my particular fishing rod. So we'll go and look at that one tomorrow. That's a damselfish, okay. Well, you're not gonna find it necessarily all the time. I think it's a larger fish. It looked quite big, so we'll go for three and try and see if we can get the larger fish to come in. I don't know whether it snow counts or whether that counts as rain or or what. It does say rain. So it might be slightly wrong weather conditions. Don't know. Probably because I wrote this guide in fall when there wasn't a chance of getting snow. I'm just going to try a couple of different cast ranges just in case uh, I get it that way. That's mm -hmm. trash. Why am I just pulling in trash? <laughs> Getting annoyed now. Well, this is at least a fish, so that's an improvement. Boop. Blue tang. I just give up like is it maybe only rain and not snow do we sometimes get winter rain I, I, I don't know maybe we do actually 
Okay, uh, in that case, I'm going to go into the forest ocean, which is the, by the giant village, and see if I can catch myself um, an Asian sheep head. Because the more of these fish that I've got crossed off the list, the less I have to worry. Um, how do I... How do I fish down here then? Does this count? You wait, this will be another one where I can't actually get into the area because I've not done the right this, that or the other thing. I can fish over a fence. Okay, good to know. And a fish came out. Went a bit crazy. Okay, the meter is at least moving on this one. A wiggler, isn't he? Hopefully, that means it's the right fish. It's a mackerel. Okay. Wonderful. I don't expect to get it on the, uh, always on the exact first try, can I? Oh, this feels like the same one again. Wouldn't surprise me if this was a mackerel, guys. Would not surprise me at all. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try a two. Just in case that helps. This fish looks huge again, so it might be another one. I oh, know this is this is clearly trash, okay. Or oh, a coffer. Oh nice, okay, I can handle a coffer. I'm in the right place. Because this looks like another mackerel. Can't wait to upgrade my fishing rod. Oh, it's a bronze-starred mackerel this time. It's all I'm catching here is mackerel. All right, I'm giving up for the day. I'm so pleased that, well, mackerel I think can be donated. I'm pretty sure, but this is the problem with fishing. Just get loads of stuff you don't need. I've already donated damselfish. I haven't donated a mackerel and I have donated blue tangs, so um, I'll just keep one of the mackerel, I'll sell the rest. I can't make sashimi yet, so I'm like, I may as well, I can always catch more fish if I need them for sashimi later. I could keep the pansy, I think the woolly bear, the chub and the angel fish are all ones that I haven't donated though. So to be fair, I got things for the museum, I can't be too like, Annoyed with that. I do kind of wish that I had managed to get something for the altar, which I didn't manage to get at all. And it's like, grrr. It might take me the whole of year two at this rate. 
But what I do have, I think, now is enough stuff for, in the morning, me to go over to the smiths and upgrade my axe. So that I can then start to chop hardwood. Part of me is like, well, sh should I just blow the hardwood up for now with the explosives? If I can make explosives, that's what I'll do, okay? Which I apparently can make all the explosives. It's just bronze or on coal. So <laughs> maybe I'd be better off than upgrading something else and using explosives to get the hardwood. In fact, can I explode this stump? Oh, it's getting too late. Okay, I've got... I'm trying to think of a million things at once and it's just too much. It's too much to do. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit in my nice cool bed. I don't know if I get a bonus for that. Probably not. I can now make sushi because I've got fishing level two. I've got an extra skill point in fishing and max stamina. Okay. Well, maybe that could help me with some of the fishing. I didn't make much money that day because I did not sell nearly enough stuff. Right. Sure. The deal is I have enough to upgrade one thing. My thoughts are that what I might want to do is the hook. Stay with me on this one. I know that that might not seem like the most good thing to do. Um, but that is the thing. I don't know though, because I going up to silver, my silver hook didn't make much of a difference to me, did it? So maybe a gold pick would be good to make it down to the bottom of the gold mines. Hit these guys. How you doing? Daniel's got a heart. Clouds on like six hearts. When did that happen? Good grief. Okay, I clearly am taking okay care of these guys. Maybe your your prodding is, uh, has helped. <laughs> Gonna let them out today, I think. They seem pretty happy with their barn heater. Like I say, maybe the fact that I got cloud in the summer and didn't know to cool has not helped either. Looks like you've got wool on you. Nice, I can give that straight to Connor. Connor wanted some wool, so I'll pet you. Sorry, AJ, you've got to be outside in the freezing cold with no wool on. I, I feel like a terrible person for this. Okay. So I think a lot of my problems come from like the altars not being completed. I think when I complete an altar, it's going to complete one of the trees and it's probably going to open areas up for me and I haven't managed it yet and that's causing me issues, I think. I don't know. So let's have a look at what else I need for this altar. I mean, I'm hoping that amongst all of the seeds I've got planted, the right things for winter will come out. Uh, rose hips, snowdrops, tea leaves. I haven't seen a snowdrop or a rose hip, which I think are going to be the scavenger balls. Kale and Brussels sprouts, I'm hoping, will come out. I've got pansies there, but they're no use. And then I've just got to get the sea urchin and the king, king scallop then, and it's done. Ugh, and then stupid catch altar that's got loads of stuff in that I can't do. This one that's got like so many fruits that I don't have. And then the rare altar. Where apparently I have... Oh, no, you're not having my gold. No, no, no. I could finish that one up, though. With a little bit of concerted effort. It wouldn't be too hard. I just need to make three gold kelp essence, which I can easily make. And then get some bronze and gold bars on the go. So maybe we could work on that one. But I... that Yeah, not right now. Right now, I need to make a decision on what I need to, what I want to upgrade. And it's a tough one. It's a really tough one. Okay, we're not open for another 20 minutes. That's fine. I'll rummage the garbage can. You never know. There might be a fish in it. 
Uh, okay, so... Here's the deal. Upgrading the axe would allow me to chop more. But the silver axe will allow me to chop around town. The gold axe will allow me to chop on the farm. But on the farm, I can use explosives instead. And explosives are not difficult to make or replace. So my thoughts are that doing something that's a bit... Apparently I have a coffer there that I could open. Mm, let's do it. Shadow puppet. I think I could sell that or keep it or something. I don't think that needs to be donated. Um... Oh, I like your winter gear, Pablo. It's cute. Yeah, so there is a way around having the um, having the gold axe. I haven't got my hardwood with me. I don't know how much better a gold scythe will be, but I know a gold pick will be so much better. And I've got enough hardwood to upgrade three things, so it will be those three. No, to upgrade two things, but I've got enough on the farm to blow it up and get a second thing, so... Um, well, let's go back and get the hardwood anyway. I'm going to go for the axe, I think. Pickaxe. Authentical pickaxe and axe, and I shouldn't do because they're different things. Uh, right, farm. Grab the hardwood. There's no reason I shouldn't have... You see, I've already got the five gold bars. Loads of gold bars, seemingly. I've got ten hardwood that we got from blowing that log up. So I've got enough hardwood there to upgrade a few things. I've got probably enough to upgrade four different things. And then I don't think I need hardwood for the watering can. So the two logs that are on the farm are enough to do all of the tools. So there's food for thought. But whatever I upgrade, I have to work on the opposite thing. So if I upgrade the pick, then I have to go into the sea and carry on doing the sea. But I'm, I'm okay with that. But we will upgrade it next, I think. So um, upgrade tools. Upgrade pick. It'll be ready in two days. So I've got uh, to wait until the 5th to be able to go back and do more mining down the mines. But when I do, it's going to be a lot easier and take a lot less stamina and everything. I'm going to chat to, I think it's Archie from the way he's walking. <laughs> I had a lot of fun carving a pumpkin with Dad. Now it's snowball fight time. <sighs> different times of year, different types of mischief. So while everything is growing, uh, I've... Oh, yes. You know what I need to do? I need to go and find wherever Connor is. Where is Connor? Where's Connor? I did need to find Bree as well with a pumpkin in, in hand. So why don't we do that, actually? We'll, I'm just going to do like a little bit of a... And a black trumpet for Ben, who should hopefully be back from his like um, summer outing. Um... I put all my pumpkins. There they are. All right, so one pumpkin for Brie. Then I need a black trumpet mushroom for Ben. Then I need a wool for Connor. So that's fine. I've got that one. I'd rather sell a bronze wool, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be a good. Maybe it'll be a good prize for it. I don't, I don't know. I've got some. Catching and fishing points to spend as well. Better quality fish. I think I'm going to go for better quality rather than double because most of the time I'm trying to catch one fish for a certain thing and there's a chance that it might want some kind of like silver star fish or something and if I've got better quality fish coming out then that might help. So that's what makes sense to me. 
Um, but I might take a better, yeah, okay, better quality on the critters as well. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh, so I've got my wool, I've got my pumpkin, I've got my tr black trumpet mushroom. So now I just need to go into my relationship tab, find Connor. It's nice that these are in alphabetical order. That kind of makes so much more sense that way. So he's right there. Probably woodlands and go south. Yeah, that'll probably be slightly more direct. Hmm. Less like walking around and stuff. I, I also need to uh, go and undo all my fossils. Need to crack all my fossils open. Everyone's in their lovely coats and things. That looks like a, something I haven't gotten before. Meh. Oh, actually I have. It just looks different in the snow. It's a western tiger swallowtail. Now, Connor was around here. Connor is now over the, by the vineyard. Because of course he is. He couldn't have just stayed still for two seconds. Well, maybe Brie will be up there. You never know. But she'll probably be at the pub or something. Because, you know. <laughs> no, Walter, I can't. I don't want to go. If you want to go, fine. You'll have to do it on your own. I wonder what that was about. Right, where's Connor now then? Stop running away! He'll be at my farm in a minute. It'll be where I started off. Oh, he's in a big hat now. Okay. Hello. Good news, Shilab Funlop has raised our town from E to D. If we keep making this kind of project progress, we'll reach C in no time. Take a look around. I believe the local businesses have new items like seeds, decor, clothing, things like that. Not right now, they don't. <laughs> you probably can't do all that much farming in this harsh weather, eh? Right, so let's get your wool. For your quest. Thank you. Oh, 510 is a reward. So yeah, that is way more than I would have made for selling the wool, thankfully. Which is nice. Okay, so now we need to find Bree, who might be around here somewhere. She is in the main town, in the salon. Oh, well, that would that makes total sense. Okay, let's go to the salon and find Bree. I've never actually been to the salon myself. That to me looks like Kale. Very nice. It's my first winter thing that I found for the goddess. Where's the salon then? There's a mermaid statue there now. Was that there before? Right, let's hope she hasn't finished her haircut yet and started moving around. Um, so, Bree, I have a pumpkin for you. I know it's taken me a million years to get around to giving out the quest items, but there we are. You're welcome. It's important to take care of yourself. It's not selfish. On the contrary, it can really improve your performance and it's good for your mood. Don't think I haven't noticed you working hard to boost our rank, Sheila. Rank D, now that's an achievement. Look at all my different hairstyles I can have. Look, I can have that one. That is old Sheila hair. Lots of very, very cute styles. Yeah. Make my eyebrows match my hair, which might actually be something I could do. I thought that one was cute. I don't know if we've got more hairstyles now than we had first time round. I don't think we do though. But anyway, we found Bree. So the next person we need to find is Ben. Who might be at his caravan, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to find where he is. Right, so he is... 
in the middle of town. I am all the way over here. Oh, right. You know where he is? He's in yeah, okay. So, let's go and find... Fast travel location. I'm going to go from my farm up here. And he'll be he'll be tending the chickens. That's what he does. And then I give him the black trumpet mushroom. Yes. Thank you. I've got 200 coins. For that one. And some probably some relationship with Ben for doing the quest. Wonderful. The western uh, swallowtail, I believe... Something we've already handed in. Yes, thought so. Now, the kale isn't saying offering on it. But I'm sure kale was needed. I wonder if we need it at a certain level. I'm just going to go and very, very quickly check. Uh, what was needed out of the kale. Not sure. Hmm, interesting. So when it's a scavenger ball, it sometimes doesn't say offering on it. Because that didn't. Certainly didn't. So I don't know if snowdrops might grow as a flower. I don't that's the problem. Until things grow, I don't actually know what I'm looking for. But I'll keep my eyes out. I imagine Brussels sprout is a grown thing. So it's probably either rose hip or snowdrop. That I'll be finding somewhere. But maybe not. Maybe that's what will grow. I've no idea what's going to grow yet. It's like a super surprise season. <laughs> super surprise season. And if I don't let my animals out. Have I let them out already? If I don't let them out soon, then they won't get to come out. Oh no, they already are. Okay. I apparently accidentally now have called them in. <laughs> but... Probably doesn't matter as long as they've had some time outside. Oh, of course, because I needed it for Connor's wool, didn't I? So let's empty up the mason jars so I can have some money again. Obviously having just spent 10 grand on an upgrade. I don't got much money left. Sell those. So 12 cranberry jams at 50 each. So that'll be about 600. The shadow puppet and some butter. That's actually a better deal today. All right, nice. I'm going to go to my animal products thing and I'm going to see what's, what's stacking up. I've got three large eggs, so we'll make three large mayonnaises. And I've got one large milk and two small milks. So I'll make butter after the small milks. And let's find some veggies. Uh, I'm just going to look in donations and see if I've got any particular... I should put the dried steamer clam. Uh, I should sell that. And the jackknife clam. And to be honest, the karacha sauces. Don't think I'm going to need those. And cranberry jam. Like other stuff I'll, I'll keep because I don't have much of it. I can't really make it at the moment. It might be nice for someone at some point as a present or something. I, I don't really know, but the shadow puppet has been donated, but I don't have it in the... Oh, yeah, I do have it in the box, so that can be sold too. Okay. Anything that I've already got, I'm just going to sell. I see they're 50 because they are better. Right, so that's a pansy is a scavenger ball, but might possibly be needed in the future. So I'm gonna hang on to one of them. Uh, I'm gonna get some gold. I'm gonna make some more gold, and I'm gonna try and make some gold kelp essence. And I need to also make some bronze. But we'll do the we'll do the gold first. Oh, I need coal. I always forget the coal. It has to be in my inventory apparently. Right, so that should be enough to then um, give the three gold. In fact, I could do that now, couldn't I? I could. 
do it now or I could wait. I need one more, two more bronze bars. I need 15 bronze ore. That's a thing I could do. I need to put my tree tap on a tree, but I don't know. I feel like I'm worried that whatever tree I choose will get cut down. However, the one in the chicken's quarters is not going to get cut down. So that might be a really good one to put a tap onto, actually. Is it left click? There we are. So I can leave that for a while and that can just be my one to tap. Eventually, I might just want to have a, load, a big line of maple trees, maybe down here or something, or with taps on them or something. But at the moment... I am not that organized. We also need some bee houses, but I think that might be better in the spring. This might not be the season for that. <laughs> right. It's uh, getting late and we haven't done much in the way of like... Right, okay, because my pickaxe is gone right now. So if I want to do anything, it'll be a bit of diving. So that's what I think I'll do. I have not done much about my inventory so I'm going to but I'm going to work on progress rather than working on particularly picking things up if it gets full it gets full if I spend ages putting things away I'm just going to run out of time it's getting too late in the day for that right so where where are we what are we doing so we've done those I think we need to head down here this way and possibly move the anchor as well to there is a particular oh right that one there is blocked in right okay so that's not my next goal my next goal must be up here then that's why I didn't get the two that makes sense as to why I didn't get the two of them together at the same time What are you? Look, how am I supposed to sneak up on things when I've got my things beeping in my ears? Like that, apparently. Goodness me. phone beeping at me as well because it's running out of charge oh need to get myself organized don't i right anyway i don't understand with those headphones as well it's like it really um gets to me because they beep not just once it's beep 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 do you imagine that going on while you're trying to record something <laughs> like no but yeah, lately, over the last couple of days, I've done quite a lot of recording, so it's kind of like I've just been wearing them too much. Well, I suppose at least we are now following the path of the retreating route again, which is nice. And this looks like, yeah, here is our final little altar that we need to do, our final little shrine. I don't know, actually, they're not really shrines, are they? I call them shrines, but they're like, they're mechanisms. That's what the mermaid called them. They are scientific mechanisms with a bit of mermaid magic. Oh man, I was really comfy in my seat then, and now I'm not. I'm just gonna continue to use my spin to win because it does seem to be the most useful thing. I don't know what starfish go for money-wise, but people have been telling me to try and see if I can dehydrate the crabs and lobsters, so I'll give that a try. The reason I haven't been is it seems to be only scavengerables, but uh, you're quite right. There's no, no reason not to try and see what can be dehydrated, because anything you process in this game will give you more money than if you didn't process it. It absolutely makes sense to you. But yeah, I'm absolutely going to get one of the, another one of those altar things done. I, I 
like I still haven't managed to get an entire altar finished which bugs me a bit but it's like it's not really surprising considering how difficult some of the stuff they're asking for is I think my best bet might be the artisan one however the the thing's going to hold me back on that is the trees that they're asking for some of those trees require quite high levels of um Quite high levels of town rank to be honest to be able to get those tree seeds some of them i've seen at some of the festivals but not had enough money for so when i get to that point where i'm drowning in money that might be when i <laughs> manage to get those done oh well i'm not having much luck with the solar orb here am i let's get rid of these ones right by the altar because uh, they're going to need to go anyway because i'll probably block the path Nope. Yay. All right, so now I'll just get rid of the ones that are blocking the path. Um, I tend to do a big clean up when I come back through to do scavenging. So when I'm on one of my little sort of scavenging days, that's when I'll do the rest of the cleanup but i'll do enough cleanup on the days where i'm making progress to make the actual progress that seems to be the faster way to get through everything i have to clean quite a lot anyway for said progress to be made so never fear That's at least one more shrine done down here. That might be it. It's going to happen. Why is it always... Oh, hang on. No, we don't get kicked out at 11 o'clock anymore. It's always just at 11 o'clock, isn't it? It's getting late. It's getting super late. But I don't care. Going to move the anchor over here as well. So that should hopefully open this. And allow me into the next section. So I might be having a scavenging day tomorrow because <laughs> I won't have any I won't have any uh stamina left. So yeah, we can go around to this section now and get this one on the way probably. I can probably go around this way and get it from the back. Or that might have actually moved that route as well. So we can get into the middle now. Uh, we've done 10, so we're about halfway through, I think, at this point. Where's the anchor? I just moved it. Here it is. So we're doing great. We're doing fine. I'll need a day where I've got all of my wits about me and all of my stamina on me to get to the bottom of the mine, so definitely... Okay, so gold is done. So, uh, oh no, uh, uh, bed now, bed right now. Stop going back to the farm and thinking, Let, what, can, what else can I do? Because you'll pass out. I don't know when the pass out time is, but I don't want to find out really. Okay, so I've got uh, merits from an errand. That's about it, okay. So the errands didn't seem to really give me much in the way of um, increases, I don't think, with people. Let's have a look. Ben is still on two. Bree is still on two. Connor is still on three. Connor was on three anyway, so yeah. That didn't help too much. It's very, very nice, though, to have some of the space in here looking a bit more used up. Because it was looking a bit rubbish before, wasn't it? Will you be planting tea this winter? If so, please send some my way. I'd love to send some to local tea leaves to my parents. Thanks very much, Charles. No, because I don't think uh, my island ranking is high enough for any of the winter seeds. I went to look at Sam's and there were no winter seeds there, which makes me think that it's not going to be a thing. Things are growing. Why do they all look the same? I hope they're not all the same. 
whatever they are. Because if they are, I'm not getting a greenhouse for another year. You know this, because like Sam has no seeds. Like, what's the deal with that? And my town rank is still only D, and it's really not gonna get to like C anytime soon. <laughs> So, yeah. 10 points for each coral site. So I'd have to do like 20, like 70 more coral sites. There aren't even 70. Okay, so let's go and see whether uh, maybe, oh no, actually, let's go let the um, chicken and the cow out. I keep saying the chicken and the cow, but it's now like a chicken and a duck and a zebra and <laughs> Out you come guys. Let's see what's in the coop. A duck egg and a nice large egg. Egg. Chicken egg. And I'll be able to milk. It's not it's not a shearing day today though. And my inventory's full. Well, that's not really surprising, actually. I'll just go and pet everyone, though. And the reason that's not really surprising is that uh, I literally had to fall into bed last night. So that's really, really not surprising. Probably going to be some stuff in my inventory that I can dehydrate. So the oysters and things. The crown of thorn starfish, I think, will go in the donation chest. Quite a few new things to donate at the moment, aren't there? Um, and the other one will get sold. Those scavenger balls can get sold. Rest of the stuff can just go away. Sea loot. Sea loot. Sorry. Donations. Products. And I could probably... Uh, let's go with the large milk and the two normal eggs today. And the large egg and the silver egg can get sorted another day. got three large mayonnaises to do. I've got some butter. Very nice. I've got a large butter in and two normal mayonnaises. And let's see what I want to do with my mason jars today. Bronze cranberries. Are the mason jar thing of the day. So that's that's taken that stack down quite a lot and uh, people have i've had people saying all sorts of different things um about what to keep so i think i am going to stick with my idea of keeping just a couple of each of the highest tier of something i've got someone was like i'll take the lowest tier because i'm never going to want a star and it's like but what if they do that could be a problem <laughs> i might want to make some rice vinegar at some point as well that's quite a nice one too so Gonna sell the big mayonnaises. They're 150 each, so that's 450s worth. And then another uh, 260s worth of butter. I don't know how much those go for or that. So we're probably looking at about six, 700 today at the moment if we don't put anything else in. I need to get some bronze for the goddess, but I can't do that at the moment because I don't have a pickaxe. So I may as well just put the gold away. But what I could do with doing is grabbing some glass if I have any. Which I do. I'm grabbing some... Oh, which one? I definitely don't have the gold one. 
So let's make three gold kelp essence. Why not make five? And then I'll take the gold essence and the gold bars over. In fact, no, I'll just I'm gonna take the gold bars over now. Actually, I've got enough of them. I'm gonna take them over and just check which ones I'm missing. I definitely am missing bronze bars. Because this is actually part of the altar that I can complete. The rare resource bundle. So I just need, the, yeah, I just need the three bronze bars. Okay. The rare ranching products, I'm starting, I can get none of that yet, but I think I'm gonna be able to soon. I need to upgrade my barns and things first. Again, lots of stuff to do still. I'm glad that the socials are kind of almost taking care of themselves, to be honest, because I just don't have, like, much time to do anything like that. I'm running around doing everything else. Will I get... Will I be getting my... Will I get my pick back today or tomorrow? Let me check. I'm losing track of my entire life right now. It might be tomorrow, but it might be today. Very quick to check. No, it's tomorrow. So the beginning of next episode, I think we will be having uh, our gold pick. So that'll be our first gold tool, which would be quite nice. Lovely, so uh, back to the farm. away building mats and things so i'm gonna need more gold no bronze sorry um i've got the gold essence on the way so that one will be done as soon as i get the bronze together for it i need bronze for a lot of stuff at the moment a lot of stuff right so how about we head to the sea again then just check I did take my animals out right. I am triple checking this every day. Yep, they're out there enjoying themselves, eating grass. They'll need to eat their hay soon though because the grass is dwindling. But we're like a few days in. So it's not so bad, is it? And I'll be diving for progress again today. We made a good bit of progress last time because the, the root moved. Um, I don't have very great stamina right now. Probably because we went to bed too late. Uh, so I'm going to try not to go to bed late. <laughs> I can use a, a bit of jamu or something if I need to. Right. And yes, I don't I don't always catch. If I'm in the middle of like trying to clear, I don't always catch. It's probably not the most efficient way of playing again, but I get a little bit too uh focused on progressing through here. So this is the third quarter of the of these caves, and it's the same with I believe with the um with the shafts, with the mine shafts. I am on the third of four, and I'm kind of on the third of four here. So I'm hoping to get these parts of the game done a little bit more so that I can focus on other parts. Like raising my livestock and all that sort of thing. I am trying to do it around these things, but they do take a lot of time of my day. I don't know what I'll do if I don't have them left to do, though. What will I do with my entire day? It'll be fishing, won't it? Fishing and bug catching and stuff. And socialising. Oh, 
But I do love having the diving aspect of this. It's, it's the one thing that I really think makes this game apart from others. Um, it's something I'm looking forward to doing. I enjoy it in Critter Cove as well. I think they all played Subnautica and thought, why not us? Hmm. Can't get any further now. So I'm guessing this is gonna be sort of this part here. And probably as we get to here, we're gonna be getting down to that 50 meter area. will be quite exciting although I think we've maybe gone a bit too far I don't know if we've gone too far to get the um, solar orbs we need I'm gonna pick you up but I think the last couple of scavenger balls I probably need will be in that last area or maybe one of them will be later on in this area I don't know Getting a little bit behind time now. Not behind time. Yay, I found it. A little bit low on stamina now, actually. We're fine for time. Just do what I can. Green sea urchin. Was it not a green sea urchin I needed? Might not have been. Let's just check. It says offering on it. I know. Yeah, it's the one I need. So it's the fourth of five. Alright, we're getting a bit low on the old stamina now. So uh, I don't think I'll be able to do much more down here. Okay, I'm going to move the anchor and head back out, I think. Yep. And then I'm going to work on my bits and pieces for the... farm, I think. So, oh, actually, I did put everything into the dehydrator, and yeah, I did loads of cool stuff. Okay, the sea lettuce can go in there, and all of these can come back out. The uh, goddess can have her offering, and then I can sell a load of stuff. I need to go to the carpenter and I'm, I'm almost dreading it a little bit. I need to go to the carpenter and like... So that will be in the 50 meter area. I can almost guarantee you that. But uh, we'll be done with that and the catch part of the ocean very, very soon, I think. Um, I, I really need my stuff to grow so I can work out what I do and don't need to find around the place for the winter season. And once I've got the winter season done and the ocean loot done, which I'm fingers super crossed that I can get done, um, then I might have the greenhouse, which would be really cool if I could have that for next spring. I'd be very, very happy with that. But I feel like I've got all of these partially done altars and like none of them are particularly easy to get done. They were just sat there like, I've got a little bit done here and a tiny bit done there and a little bit of this one and a little bit of that one. And it's like, oh, come on. Give me something. We'll have a few hundred today. I think it'll be maybe a, a thousand plus today. 
definitely. And some of the cranberry jams are ready, so we can get those in. Something's done in... No, it's not. That's done. Those are done. All of those can go in. See, the lower you go down in the... I don't know how much a large butter goes for, but I know that it's probably quite a bit. And we'll get wool tomorrow as well, which is always nice too. So... I'm very, very happy with how things are going there. Um, we are early enough to go to the pub. This is what I like to do on early days. I don't know whether to go to the town one or to go to the... I should check out White Flamingo at some point. The town one might be slightly the most closest. The most closest. The closest. Wow, okay. That's karaoke night. Or maybe stand up comedy night. Not sure. All right, folks, let's give a big hand for Theo. Ooh. He's been spinning some great tunes, but now it's time to switch gears to our open mic night. <gasps> Love an open mic night. First up, we have Millie armed with her beautiful poetry. In the face of the pufferfish looming large and fierce. We tremble not, but find our courage immersed. The trials we face may seem deep and vast. Yet hope springs eternal, unyielding and steadfast. Wow, she actually had two words that rhymed there. Amazing. That's clearly some very... Um, it's probably beyond me, that poetry. Yes, it's clearly too artistic for my tastes. Right, next we have Sam, who's going to dance. Ah, Sam is going to dance! And trust me, he's got more moves than a chess game. Okay. Okay, well, that's two moves. Three moves, I think. Possibly three. He just did the splits! What? Okay, Sam. So, um, yeah, that was very good. That was super good. I did not know that Sam could do the splits, and now I do. <laughs> Today was a good day. All right, let's give it up for our Dancing King, Sam. Now, up next, we have Dipper, who'll serenade us with some smooth saxophone tunes that'll make you wish you'd taken those music lessons seriously. A round of applause for Dipper! Good dipper. Finally, we have a special surprise. Our very own Ben will perform a mime act. That's right, a mime act. <laughs> He's actually really good. <laughs> They've animated this really well. Thanks, Ben. Woo! Give it up for Ben, everyone. 
Thank you all for being here tonight. Let's keep this community spirit alive. I love it when I have just random things like this pop up and I, I'm not expecting them. It's brilliant. It's true, babe. No one told me so. Ooh, interesting. You know, it wasn't his... She has cats on her t-shirt. That's amazing. It wasn't his visitation day. I wonder why he came over. They seem closer than usual, don't you think? Are they? Are they what? It wasn't his visitation day and he was out. Are they talking Antonio and Suki? Yeah, they are. Oh no, Suki's moved on. She told me she loves Antonio, but not in that way anymore. Something like they grew up together and figured out adulthood together. Oh, I don't know, I forgot what she said. The point is, I don't think he came over to, you know. I think he was probably just visiting Raphael and Pablo. Yeah, probably. You know what Suki said about growing up together and all that is true. I can relate. We grew up together, babe, and what you and I have is indeed special. And figuring out adulthood together does something to you. And you turning out to be such a fine lady is a plus. Oh, Frank, you charmer. Oh, you. You don't look half bad yourself there, buddy. Gosh, ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Okay, so what else did you hear from Noah? They are a pair of gossips. Wow. That was super fun. I just came in here to have a chat with people because I had nothing to do and it was all full of cutscenes. The latest clothing drops in town are absolutely to die for. Every piece is a statement. People have been dissing my clothes lately, so maybe I should like get on and do something. Axel's here. Traveling as much as I do, you learn to pack light. A sturdy pair of boots and a good sense of humor go a long way. Tell that to Mark, I dare you. Ever tried fried watermelon? No, nah, I don't think so. It's an acquired taste, believe me. Yeah, why would you fry it? I don't think a watermelon will survive frying. It must be a very delicate cooking technique. The snow is bad news for us. The crops are dying. Production is down more than 50%. Failed dish. Okay. Why does that cost money? Apple wine, sake, kombucha. Those are nice things in here. Nom, 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 nom. Let's go chat to Frank, though. As well, chat if I'm here. We're making great progress with this town rank thing. D rank isn't bad. I've gotten Ds in my grades before, and look at how well I'm doing now. Nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> we need to get that C rank so fast. Right now. Okay, fantastic. So I think I'm going to end the episode there. Because it's uh, it's been a long, long day. But that was brilliant. I was, I'm so happy that like that I do this every so often and just pop into town. I've got a few, I've had a low stamina day and I'm just needing to chill out and relax. It's a really good thing to do. I love the lights here. Oh, this is so pretty. Little reindeer and the Christmas trees. They're definitely going for a very Christmas theme in this one. I mean, sometimes they'll do like a, a festival of light or something like that. But this one, definitely, we've got all the all the trappings. The trees and the reindeer and all that sort of stuff. All right, so it looks like my golden um, essence is done. So as soon as next episode I get my pick back, we can go in and grab some bronze and uh, get that bit of the goddess's altar finished off. Which would be wonderful. Let's have a look at how much money we made overnight. Because I think it might be a decent whack. 2,300. Yeah. It was good. It was really good. So the butter, the large butter is 210 just for one. So when I get large milks, that's going to be fantastic. Large mayonnaises for 4 450 as I expected. And two normal mayonnaises came to 200. Um, all of these various different things from under the sea. And the cranberry jam. It wasn't even that much stuff, you know. So there we are. We're going to end the day there. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you all next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.